Good morning. I'm going to say this. <laughs> Somebody told me not to make this video. I'm making it. You know, they always that one child that will give up, sacrifice, lay everything aside. They take care of mom and dad or grandma. That one child that could have went on and got that bachelor's and doctorate's degree. Huh? But she wanted to stay close and take care of mom and daddy. She could have just, you know, moved out of town, got her big house in the suburbs. But no, she stayed close, or he stayed close to take care of mom and daddy. You know, somebody got to make the sacrifice. You got the ones that go out of town, you know. They go out of town and make a life for themselves, and they're always too busy to come home. And then when they do come home, they look at you like you're dirty. Because you chose to stay here in South Carolina. You ain't done nothing right, you know. And they up there upside down in the house. <laughs> they ain't telling nobody, but they rent their cars. Come down here. They're too good to stay in the house that they've been born and raised in, you know. A trailer ain't no good for them no more. If they was in a trailer. Mm -mm, they got to go to the hotel. But when the parent dies, that child that was down here taking care of mother and daddy, you know, mother and father, she becomes obsolete, you know. All her sacrifices are getting up in the middle of the night, taking care of them, and probably got to move out of her house into their house to take care of them, you know. Her sacrifice didn't mean nothing. All them trips back and forth to the doctors, you know, getting paperwork done while you on the phone calling, what's going on, what's going on, did you do this, did you do that, you know, you and your education, you calling down here criticizing. What she or he could have done that you thought that you could do better, but you didn't have the time. You couldn't make the time, you know, because you waiting on that phone call to say she's dead. So you can step in and do your thing. So you can step in and handle things. See, now you're the, you're the after effect. You, you know, that, that kind of person you are. The person that was down here wiping and cleaning the house and getting it straight, getting the yard straight, you understand? Yeah. They become obsolete. Oh, but when the person died, mom and daddy or grandma died, you got all the time in the world. They come down here. So you couldn't find time no other time. You've been busy. Oh, but when they die, you come down here. You come down here. Uh, arrangements saying right. You know, you you entitled now. You entitled. You entitled to be on the front row. You are, your name should be here. You should be there. They should be here. You gotta see you got that insurance policy that you've been hiding. But you want to see what the other kids will come up with, and then you'll put your part with it, and then you go to the people and get a death certificate and cash in your insurance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you the one. You the one. Uh, you, you the one that come down here and ain't nothing right. Nothing, nothing, nothing right. They ain't pick out the right flowers. They ain't pick out the right casket. You overseeing the obituary. You, you, you just that clean up person. You know, and what one thing that, that make me mad? The dying person, the dying person, the dying person. The person that, that, the mama, dad, they they'll put the estate or whatever in the person name that ain't taken care of. <laughs> the one that's up the road, the one you think that's, that's so educated, you know, you put it in their name. And the one that's been taking care of you, wiping and cleaning. Then give up everything to take care of you. She ain't worthy to make arrangements. I was talking to this girl. She hold her head down. That's why this video being made. So I got something to be my family too. And ain't everybody family. Not only mine, but you know, my family, you can call and talk to me when I finish this video. I really don't care. She said, my mama died. I did all that. And my sister come from up the road and just talked trash to me. In the I said, because you let her. You let her. I said, because it couldn't have been Shirley. I said, it couldn't have been me. I said, I would have, when I found out that somebody else was going to be over everything and I done slid myself to death, I would have said, you better come down here and get them. You better come back up there and take it with you, with your, with, with your business there. You better do all that now. Because I, I, I done sacrificed enough and you can come down here and criticize me. I, it, it couldn't have been Shirley. It couldn't have been me. And she been just a crying. I said, go ahead on, cry it out. They come down here, they took the house from me. I said, the house that you been taking care of. Yeah, because she said she been paying all the taxes and, and she been doing this. I said, so she gonna come just run you out of it. She ain't got time to do nothing else. Yeah, my mama left everything to her. I said, okay. I said, but the Lord got something in store for you. I said, you done your part as a daughter. I said, I said if the Lord don't want her to have it, she won't have it. She said, I ain't gonna fight her for it. I'm gonna just move out the house. I said, where you going? I, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna, gonna move out the house. Woman came down here, bowed up the house. This is the family house. Okay. Family wasn't in here taking care of your mom and your daddy either. Your sister was. Her hundred children was. 
and you bring your children down here, well, my child is the oldest. They should be here, and they should be there, and I should be here, and I should be there. See, now all of a sudden, now you entitled. Mm. Some of y'all need to check yourself and check where you're going. Greed, money, and, 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 and doing things to your sister and brother because you figure you can't.